can find Sammy Amiobi, who can in turn find Janik Vilshert, who can in turn find Scott Kashka, who misses. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing Bolton again. Uh, it's going to be episode number three. Now in the last episode, uh, we got off to an okay start, pretty much as you'd expect. Um, <coughs> we lost to West Brom, which you'd expect. Then we lost to Bristol City. Beat Burton in the uh, in the cup. Then went and drew with Reading. Beat Birmingham, simmed that one, that was the only win so far. Um, drew with Sheffield United and then lost to Cardiff. But we switched up the formation halfway through and I felt a lot more comfortable. Um, so hopefully, another win. Uh, so, oh yeah, so for, for this episode, uh, I'm going to be playing Preston, simming QPR and Middlesbrough, and playing Ipswich and Derby. So hopefully we can get some results in this one, because if not, I don't know what to do. So this is the side we're going to go with. We've got Remy Matthews in goal. We own Beavers in front of him with Olkowski right back, Taylor left back, Buckley on the left, Noon on the right, Joe Williams and Luke Murphy in the midfield, and then Yannick Fieldshut up front with Clayton Donaldson. Let's hope we can get something. <laughs> Okay. Okay, chance for Bolt uh, for Preston already. All right, come on, Murphy. Shoot. Oh, well saved by Declan Rudd. And oh no! Oh, well saved, Matthews again. Okay, Matthews. Had a very good game so far. No oh. And just after I say that, he... Oh. Okay. Not much you could have done about that one. That was terrible defending. Oh. Straight away, chance. Oh, and Luke Murphy just missed a sitter. Oh, dear. This is not going to plan. Right. Come on, Donaldson. Get away from him. Oh, no. Huntington's too strong. Right. Not the best half. Um, should have... Uh, definitely Luke Murphy should have scored one of them. But... Uh, wait, it says... It only oh, no, yeah, of course, he missed the other chance. Uh... I'm not going to make any changes going into the second half, but I do still have Scott Kashke left to come on. So let's hope we can make it and we can come back from this. Oh no. They've got an attack coming here and nope, Mike Beavers can't quite get there. And Maguire, oh he's offside anyway. Oh boy. Uh, right, who do we have on the bench that can come and make an impact? So we still got Kashke. Let's bring on Vela. This team is very frustrating to play with. Um, oh, I can only imagine what it's like having to watch them. And there we go, Maguire missed. I'm not very happy, I'm not very comfortable playing with Mark Beavers. Oh, wait, here comes Scott Kashke. Oh. Yes, and he scored, second attempt. Second bite at it, and it's 1-1. Um, 20 minutes left to play. Could be on course for a big point. Let's hope we might even be able to go on and snatch a winner. Yes, Beavers. Oh, come on, Cash Cat. Oh, he hit the post, but Vilchet scores, 2-1. And I think that is the first time that I've been playing and had the lead in a match. Obviously, we beat Birmingham. Um, K 
Cash cut very unlucky there, but Yannick Vilchuk with the follow up. Oh. Ah. Oh. Right, I was trying to play a ball across, but I didn't get the power in it, and it was able to easily be cleared. Uh, Craig Noon can take the corner. Right, no, nope, easy one for Rudd. Yes, okay, so. That's it. Uh, a nice 2 1 win over local rivals. Uh, the Lancashire Derby belongs to Bolton. This one, anyway, but then we've still got Blackburn and whoever else to play. So, yeah. Uh, we're now move on to eight points from six games. Josh McGuinness cleared from injury. That's the news we all wanted. So at home to QPR, you can see our team there, it's pretty much the same. Oh, Will Buckley's got the goal. Oh, Rangel, Angel Rangel for them. Naki Wells injured. Come on, oh, Fosselek. No, that's going to be us, lost the game. And Buckley's missed a penalty. No! Oh. So Buckley could have had two, and that's us having lost that one. Now it's Middlesbrough away, you can see the team, the only change I've made, what was it, uh, Hobbs is in for, I can't remember who he's in for now, uh, for Wilson. Right, come on. Sheffield United to beat in Birmingham, Chris Basham. Lukas Shukovic has equalised, and John Obi Mikel scored for Middlesbrough. And Jordan Hugill scored for Middlesbrough. Okay. So this is how the swimming is going to go this season, probably. Um, can we at least get one back? No. That was that was awful. Uh, where are we now? Now down to 17th. Only two points outside the relegation zone. Okay, that's that's why I wanted to do this. I wanted to make it more of a challenge. It's more, it's more of a challenge if I'm not playing every game. I'm gonna play the last two games. Uh, first off, I'm away to Ipswich. Uh, they're currently sat right rock bottom of the table. We're two points clear of the relegation zone, and seven behind the playoffs. So. Should be a good test. Oh, I say good test, actually. It, it really shouldn't. We should be winning this one. Oh, no. Why not want to wear the same colour kit? Yeah, we're going to go with this team. Um, so, we, yeah, so we're going to go with uh, Donaldson and McGuinness up front. McGuinness's first start since his return from injury. Uh, Luke O'Connell on the left. We're going to give him his league debut. Um... Lowe and Murphy in midfield with Noon on the right. Mike Little right back, Grounds left back. Wilson, who's captain, with Alfie Jones making his first league start uh, at centre back and Remy Matthews in goal. Yes, Lowe. Oh, we. Would help if you gave the ball to the right colour shirt. Oh, what's a goal? Okay. Oh. That's a painful one to concede to Ipswich. Can't even blame that on rotating the side round, like that was just a brilliant finish. Nothing that John Nolan has managed to do in real life, but... And of course we go and give the ball away there. Jonathan Grounds. Why was you so far out of position there? I'm sure you could have just landed like a normal human being. Yes. Uh, ref, there we go. Luke O'Connell wins as a penalty. Great run from him. Picked the ball up about halfway. We now have ourselves a penalty. 
Who, who do I have who's good at taking penalties, though? Josh McGuinness. Yeah, let's give us to Luke Murphy, actually. Oh, Luke Murphy's missed it. Really not been our game so far. Yes, low. Oh yes, what a finish. Wait, hang on, I'm going to go over to celebrate with my fans. Clayton Donaldson, I'm sorry I doubted you. Oh, it didn't let me celebrate with my fans, but never mind. I'm hopefully going to show the whole replay from the clearance from Jason Lowe, because it was a brilliant counter-attack, and the keeper could do nothing. Um, so, 1-1, 28 minutes played. Come on, Connell. Oh, ah, oh. good attempt of a pass. Yes, Connell. Oh, just in front of him. Oh, okay, Donaldson, really on it in this match. Right, there we go. Okay, half time 1 1. Considering the start to the half, um, I'll take it. It wasn't the best half of football for me, uh, but it, it was decent. It was. Um, I thought we were by far the better team. They just happened to have a fantastic strike in the second minute. Right, come on, low. Strike it! Oh, wasn't far off, but far enough away so the keeper knew it was going wide. And, oh no, he's managed to keep it in. Oh, oh, Quena. Oh no. Oh, great save, Matthews. Double substitution for Bolton Wanderers. Coming off the pitch. Number eight, um, right. Wow, okay. I have no idea what happened there. I thought my defender had it to begin with. Right. Come on. Oh. Put him out there. Right. Two minutes for us to try to get the goal. Come on, Amiobi. Well, that was a foul. There we go. Another penalty. Don't mind if we do. This time it's Luke Chambers committing the foul. This time... Who do we give it to? This time we have Sammy Amiobi. And he's going to... Drill it in. And... 94th minute penalty. Sammy Amiobi gets us the win. I would like to think... And the Ipswich fans, I can hear booing, and it's like music to my ears. Uh, of course, it happened to be the captain, Luke Chambers, who gave it away. And we now have... And that's two for Sammy Amiobi as well. Uh, we now have another three points. Goal for Bolton Wanderers. Number 10, Sammy Amiobi. Big win. Hopefully that's moved as a good, however many points clear of the relegation zone. So this is the team that we're, we're starting with. We're going to go Kashke and Vilcha up front. you got Connell on the left. He's can, I'm letting him keep his place because I thought he was very good. Uh, O'Neill, I'm, call, I'm calling on the experience of Gary O'Neill alongside Luke Murphy with Sami Amiobi on the right, match winner in the last match. Uh, Olkowski at right back again. I think he's just pretty much when he's fit, when he's not tired, he's going to be there all the time. Uh, Wheater is captain. Wilson keeps his place in the side. Taylor at left back with Matthews in goal. And it fills up and find Sammy Amiobi and pull it back and then find Vilshop onside. 
Cash get oh great save by Scott Carson. And that's gonna be the difference here. They've got better players than we have. Gary O'Neill. Oh, oh, there's offside anyway. Hit build shot on the way, but. Oh, I thought that was going in. Okay. Gary O'Neill can find Scott Kashka. Can it build shot? Scott Kashka. Oh, another great save by Scott Carson. Oh, great tackle by Wilson. Or tackle, block, I don't know what you'd want to call it. Jack Marriott looked like having an easy shot, but threw himself in front of it. Uh, right, let's... Nope, they got... I forgot they got Jaden Bogle. They got Harry Wilson. How have they been... They was literally basically three on one there. Where was my defence? Okay, one of them was bound to score. Gary O'Neill! Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was top corner. We're going to need a better second half. Ooh, Matthews with a save. Right, let's follow him out. Yes, Matthews. And that's surely got to be half time. Yes, it is. Okay, half time. <laughs> We've been the better team. Um, I thought. I thought we we played very good football there. Um, eh, apparently not according to the stats, but I thought we were, we were much better than them. But. Moment of madness. Right, come on. One all. Build shot. Oh, he's usually better at heading than that on this game. But you know what? It's another decent start to the half. Come on. Build shot. Yes, there we go. Much better start to the half. 1-1. One, one. Yannick Build shot. 30. Yannick. Wild shot. Well, that's not how you pronounce his name. Right. Come on. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, I was trying to go across goal, but obviously he thought he saw an opportunity there. Right. Bring someone short. Wilson, yes. Harry, not Harry Wilson. Mark Wilson, the experienced centre back, puts me in front. Great corner in from Sammy Amiobi. We are in front against Frank Lampard, Starby County. I will take that any day of the week. It all. And Mac Marriott crossing is poor, but we can't clear it properly. Oh, great save. And we go and give the ball away again. Trying to clear it. Right, Mark Wilson back to Remy Matthews. Oh no. Oh, Marriott's just got in there, but nope, we tip. This is terrible. If we, if we try to clear it, it goes straight to them. And then the ball comes back like that. Oh, are you kidding me? I've literally just had like a five minute spell there where everything I've done to try to get rid of the ball has just gone to a derby player. If I tried to pass the ball out, went to a derby player. If I tried to clear it, it went to a derby player. Okay, Olkowski with the block. Nope. Don't let them have a shot. Oh. 
I thought that might be in. I thought that might be in 3 2. Right, we Brandon Jason Lowe, who can find Sammy Amiobi, who can in turn find Janik Vilcha, who can in turn find Scott Kashka, who misses. Um, change to the... I wouldn't change to the player I wanted it to in that last attack. And, and, and yeah, oh, hits the post. Okay, we might be able to get one last chance, so push the team upfield. Everybody go forward. Right, one last attack. Nope, never mind. Tamori wins the header. And 2 2. Okay. Not happy with that one. Uh, I definitely feel like the game done me a bit dirty there with the. Every time I tried to clear it, it went to them. Every time I tried to pass the ball out, it went to them. We're now down to 14th after 10 games. Oh, wait. And again, not everybody's played actually yet. So let's skip it forward. Nope, still 14th. Right, so for the next uh, episode, we've got Stoke away, Blackburn at home in another local derby, another Lancashire derby. Then we've got uh, Lancashire versus Yorkshire, or Yorkshire versus Lancashire, Rotherham away. Then it's Forest at home and Hull at home. I'll be playing Blackburn, Rotherham and Hull, and simming the other two. We're currently four points clear of the relegation zone and six points behind playoffs. So I would rather we won that one. I'm going to leave the episode there. Uh, it's been good fun for this episode. Let's hope October is a better month. October is my birthday. So I would appreciate getting all three points um, in every game. I mean... Getting, I don't even know how many games there are. There's five, five games? Five games, five wins. Let's see if we can do that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, until the next video, I will see you then. And don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you're new.